Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy New Week to you. I come to you today to share a weekly word. And this week's word is, what's your impact? Everybody is not meant to have an Oprah, a Gandhi, a Mother Teresa, a Martin Luther King impact on the world. You're meant to have that type of impact, but sometimes it's just on the one. The things that you think that you're doing that are important in the world that are small may be huge to someone else. My brother said that he used to do a lot more. He used to be more active and important things in other people's lives. And he thinks he needs to get out and do more, which is very admirable. And when you have time, I say, yes, do that. But I want to let him know that what he does by putting positive messages in the world, it sometimes helps uplift and encourages just one person. And a lot of times that person is me. But I see the comments left beneath some of the quotes he puts on. He, he always uplifts a quote on Mondays. And today's, I just remember, it was a picture of a man with no legs. And the quote said, how can you be so positive with no legs? And the response was, how can you be so negative with legs? And it just put me in a place which I try to be grateful and thankful. You need to be thankful for what you have. You need to be appreciative. You need to be positive in life. And little do you know that when, when you know the little things that you do, how it affects just the one person that's watching you, that's modeling you, that's looking to you as a leader. You are their example. And it may be your child. It may be a friend. It may be a sibling, a co-worker. Just you saying an encouraging word to them and being positive. So you, while your effect may not be on a huge thing and you may not think you have it any value in the world, it may be just for us to affect one. That's what I say. If you win one soul to Christ, you've done something. Just imagine if you go out and be positive every day and you affect just one. And it becomes a domino effect and that person affects one. That person affects one. That person may have come to work negative, but you fed something positive and they going home positive and feeding that into their family. So don't think that you are not a value. Each one of us will put on this world for something. We all have a purpose and your purpose may to feed into that one individual. It may not be to feed into the masses. So don't worry about the Oprah, what she's doing and the effect that she's having on the world and you want to be like her. Have that Oprah effect on one somebody. Be kind to others. Encourage others. Uplift others. Maintain a positive and grateful attitude even in the hard times and the trials. Because your trial oftentimes is a whole lot less than what someone else's is. That's how I always say when you look at somebody else's mountain and you're like, oh, they got it so easy. I can climb that until you get into it and you realize it may, what may look like a small bump is a humongous hill. And you want your mountain back when it's all said and done. I want you to know that you do have an impact and you have a value in life. And you have the value and opportunity to impact others in a positive manner. Please do so. Have your Steve impact. Your Steve effect, your Susan impact, your Susan effect, your Donna impact, your Donna effect. Go forward and be positive and impact just one life if you can. Know that you're loved. You're somebody special. This is a day that you've been given. Go out and live it. Make the best of it. This is your opportunity to have an impact, a positive impact and encourage impact on others. Have a beautiful and blessed week. Know that you're loved. I love you, but God loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. I love you. And remember to share your smile this week. Help encourage and lift up another with that beautiful smile. Love you. Bye.